Hi all, welcome to Shirtwaist September. Did you know this is a shirtwaist dress? I didn't until a few vloggers started talking about a challenge over on Instagram. Make a shirtwaist or a shirt dress in September and post it under Instagram. I thought what I'd do today is give you some inspirations some patterns that you can use to make a shirt waist or a shirt dress. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with this girl, one of my favorite shirt dress patterns, the McCall's 6891. I actually made this a couple years ago now, I think. This was one of my first makes, so it is an easy pattern. Also, what I want to do with these patterns is highlight the differences between them. This one in particular gives you three options with the sleeves. You can do a no sleeve, so it is just sleeveless. Yeah, that's a good word. You can do the short sleeves and you can do the long sleeves. What else is special about this shirtwaist dress is the collar. I'm gonna interchange those words, I can tell you that right now. Shirt waist, shirt dress, so don't, don't, point, don't take points away from me for that. Okay, so this is a very, I guess, 70s retro collar, and I actually just love it. I think it's really cute. It's got pockets. The nice thing about these pockets is you sew them into the seams so you don't deal with that uh, hanging pocket syndrome that happens in so many dresses if they don't cut that pocket right. And uh, I even think that you could lop off the skirt and make it into either a vest, a shirt, or even a jacket. So this pattern is very versatile with the exception of the skirt, which is a full skirt, and that's the only option. Before I move on, I made this dress out of quilting cotton. I think that's why the pattern is so fun, right? You can only find this stuff in quilting cotton. I found that I love working with quilting cotton on shirt dresses because it's just, it's a nice, it's not too stiff, but it, it's heavy enough to give it a good swing and it, it really is a good fabric to use for a shirt dress. So let's move on to the next one. This dress is also made from quilting cotton, this beautiful rose quilting cotton is the best. And it is the, the, the Vogue 1747. I love this pattern too. It's another easy one. The only thing with shirt dresses is tackling those buttons. So if you can manage to do buttons, I think you'll be really okay with these. Oh, and also the facing and maybe the collar. But the difference between this one and the other one I looked at is it's actually, you can see it's much tighter. So this skirt is more fitted. Uh, so make sure if you have big hips like me, you measure the pattern to make sure they fit because I have a different size up top than I do on the bottom. But this pattern gives you the ability to color block. And you can see that's exactly what I did with this one. I color blocked the rose and the black. So if you have some fabrics that you want to uh, try to match together, this pattern is really good. Also, it has a more normal shirt collar, a two-piece shirt collar, more like you would find in an actual dress shirt. And you can actually choose the fullness of the skirt. So if you don't like this one, they do have a skirt that's a little fuller. But the nice thing about the one that isn't so full is I actually wear this as a duster. So you can just throw it on over a t-shirt and jeans or something like that. And it's also a, another very fun look. So that's the Vogue 1747. Let's move on to the next mm -hmm. one. All right, here we are, another favorite of mine. This is the Simplicity 8014. The big difference here is pockets. So if you're wanting to make a denim type shirt dress like they have on that pattern right there on the cover, this pattern is for you. The pockets, of course, you could put on the other shirt dresses, but this, if you're just buying one, has pockets right in it. So that's the big difference. You can see I chose a Burberry <laughs> knockoff fabric. This is a, actually a pretty light fabric. It's not quilting cotton. It's uh, a little lighter than that. But otherwise, this is a pretty traditional shirt dress pattern. The pockets sew right into the waist. It's got the two-piece collar. 
And it also has two different levels of flare in the skirt. I chose to make a wider version, which is view B, but the denim version is a little bit narrower and it is about as traditional shirt dress as you can get because that actually looks like a shirt, right? Another easy make, they're all very similar. So I guess if you made a few of these, they become really natural. But there is one big difference and that's in the back because this is more like a denim jacket type shirt dress, it has a yoke. Looking for a yoke, this pattern is for you. All right, there's one more to show you that I made. I actually didn't finish it and I'll tell you why in a minute. Here it is. This is actually a mock-up I made of the McCall's 8284. This has got to be one of my top favorite patterns I've made this year. I'm in the middle of making it for the challenge myself, so that's why I didn't finish it. And also, it doesn't fit. So beware, if you are making this pattern, it's gonna be really slim around the hips. I actually measured it around the waist thinking that it would fit me and you can see it has a blouse version and before I put on the skirt part, the blouse version fit perfectly. Unfortunately, I forgot to measure around the hips. I could have given myself more length and that's exact width and that's exactly what I'm going to do with the next version I make and how about this fabric? This is like a polyester. And it's just a little bit over the top. I think I actually might change this into the shirt version. But let's get back to why we're here. This pattern. First off, the collar. You start out with just a normal collar. It has two varieties. You can just do a straight collar without the ruffle. But I added the ruffle because I think that is so cute. Another really great thing about this this shirt dress pattern has the most voluminous sleeves. So if you're looking for a pattern that has a little bit more flair, a little bit more volume in the sleeve and different sleeve cuffs, this one is for you. Oh, and I can't forget about that flounce at the bottom. There's about six inches of flounce that you can add to the bottom. And I think that really makes it really kicky and fun when you walk. So once you try out your beginning shirt dress, try this one out too, or just go straight to it if you have more experience. I don't know if I could have gotten through this as a beginner and there's actually no tutorials for it online. So when I do the final version, I actually might make a tutorial because I love this pattern and I want to remember how I made it too. All right, this ends the patterns that I have made, but I'd also like to run through a couple, quite a few patterns that I haven't made, but I have just in case you guys want some more ideas. So this is the McCall's 6696. I tried to make this, but beware, there's a little bit of fancy sewing you have to do with the, the skirt. There's pleats in here, and I just got so confused with the directions that I stopped this one. But if you're looking for more of a challenge with pleats and also different varieties, this one has the fuller skirt and the more slim version. You could try this pattern out, but it is not my top recommendation. And then I have several that I really want to try. This one is a princess dress shirt dress. So, so doesn't that look really cute? It has more of the heart shaped neckline that you get out of a princess dress. So this is just another option for you and no collar at all. So this is a very clean neckline. I'm going to try this one too. The next one is, uh, more size inclusive so most patterns run up to size 22 uh, but some of them run a little higher like this butter it goes up to 24w and in fact all of the uh shirt waist dresses i've shown you except for this one fit me and my hips are 54 inches my waist is 44 inches and my bust is 44 inches so definitely for the fuller figure woman, I think this pattern would be really great. The B6763. 
and it has a unique ruffle feature as well as no collar. So if you like this clean line, you could try that one too. In fact, I think I will too. This one is very retro, the Vogue 9000. What I like about this is it has a little bit of a different sleeve where it goes off into a point. And it also has two little pleat darts at the bottom and it goes up to size 24. So I am doing another challenge this month, the Dark Academia Challenge, and I'm gonna use this pattern. My final pattern that I have, another one I really wanna try that I got recently is the Simplicity 9743. So that one is different because it has gathers around the top right here, and then it goes into a regular shirt dress pattern, but you can tell it has, again, a different type of a bodice. You get three choices. One that looks more like a halter top, one that uh, has the whole mini sleeves across it, and then one that doesn't go into the halter top, but still has those sleeveless varieties. The back is pretty cool. You can see it is again gathered in the back. This is another one I want to try, but my goal here is to inspire you to look at some shirt dress patterns, shirtwaist patterns, and try this challenge in September. You still have almost a month to go. So why don't you go for it and post your makes over on Instagram. All right, that's all for now. Thanks.